Now I'm going to teach you how to adjust the valve timing on any engine, car, motorcycle, or lawnmower, and how to fix bent valves in my own redneck repair method that, that doesn't make you have to buy a new valve and replace it. A lot of people might doubt this technique, but I've been using it for 15 years on cars, lawnmowers, motorcycles, and never has a valve broken afterwards. It's always worked 100%, so watch. So here's a typical flathead four-stroke lawnmower engine, but for demonstration purposes it doesn't make any difference whether it's overhead valve or not. First thing you'll notice is most engines have marks on their timing gears to line them up. So on this engine that little dot lines up with a little notch cut out in the timing gear. Now if for whatever reason you're working on an engine and you don't know how to find the marks or there are no marks or you're just lost, there's a guaranteed way, no matter what kind of engine, overhead valve or not, that you can find out how to set the timing correctly every time. So this is called a flathead engine because the head is flat and there's no valves in it. Your piston and your valves. Now the trick to finding how to set the valve timing is rotate your engine until it's on TDC exhaust stroke not TDC compression. On TDC exhaust stroke when the pistons exactly at the top both valves will be open a tiny bit like just about ten thousandths of an inch. That's telling you your cam timing is set correctly. There's no other way to do this without having the marks lined up right but this way works true for every engine. And it's on TDC exhaust, there'll always be a point when both valves are open a tiny bit. So just set your cam gear till it's in that position. Now how to fix bent valves. For the purposes of demonstration, I'm actually going to bend the valve on this lawnmower engine. I'm just going to stick my screwdriver in here and bend it. Well, if you look at that very closely, it's bent. When valves get bent in a car or something, when the timing belt breaks, the timing chain flips, Sometimes they bend a lot, well then you actually have to repair them and check your piston that it's not too damaged. But many times they just bend a tiny bit. On many engines, the valve that bends is the exhaust valve. This one's considered one that's bent a tiny bit. This even happens sometimes on overhead valve lawnmower engines. Now the trick to unbending them is actually simple. For example, if you can set it to the position where that valve is open, like now, you just stick the screwdriver in the opposite side and pry it back in the direction that you need to and you have to pry it a bit farther than it's supposed to go. Well how do you tell when the valve is perfectly straight? Well that's simple enough too. You can rotate your engine, if, for example it's a little engine like this, you watch it close. If it's an overhead valve engine, then of course the only way you're doing this is if the head's already off the vehicle, so you can't rotate your engine to do this. So what you do is just depress the valve spring or rotate the camshaft, and that will open and close the valve. So I'll give you an example on this motor. I can just push the valve spring, and it opens and closes the valve. And now I'll show you what I'm looking for when I straighten the valve to tell you if it's perfectly straight or not. Okay, here's what you're looking for. When you're opening and closing the valve like I'm doing now, if the valve is perfectly straight. When it drops down to closed position, it doesn't sort of shimmy sideways at all. If you still need to bend it, it'll shimmy sideways. If you still need to straighten it some more, it will shimmy sideways like this one's doing. If you watch very closely, even though I'm opening and closing this valve, you can see that it's pushing itself a little bit in that direction so that means you stick the screwdriver under this side and bend it more in that direction try it, then you lift and try it again and when you finally get it going up and down where it just lands and sits square every time and doesn't do a little shimmy in any direction then it's straight believe me this really works. A valve is something that's called case hardened. 
That means the outer skin of the metal has been carbon impregnated and then heated to red hot and cooled very quickly and that makes the surface very hard here and here. This part of the valve it's done a little bit less to and that area is called the annealed area. This area is softened. It's softened there because of the slapping up and down. If it wasn't soft and it was too brittle like the rest of the valve it would snap off here very quickly hit your piston and destroy your whole engine. So this part of the valve is actually very flexible so they bend easily but they're easy to straighten. So many of you watching this video are going to say, oh that'll never work, it would sure only last a little bit of time, it will never seal right. Well when the piston fires there's a lot of pressure in there. The downforce of the pressure on this valve could be a thousand or two thousand pounds pushing in this valve of air pressure and that actually makes the valve even seal better just in case you haven't got it hundred percent perfect. Secondly, since I've done this job so many times on high revving motorcycles, on cars, on <laughs> over any kind of overhead valve engine and never has the valve ever broken or ever had a problem in the future, I know it works. I haven't even bought a new valve unless it was too severely bent in the last 15 years to even repair an engine. There is one common weird engine out there but a common engine that doesn't have any timing marks to set the valve train up and that's Volkswagen diesels. What you do to set their valve timing if you don't know how to set it, the easy way is you just take out the plug on the back of the head opposite where the cam pulley is and you'll see a notch cut in the end of the camshaft, the horizontal notch. It's about that wide. All you do is rotate the camshaft until that notch is exactly horizontal and the cam lobes are pointing downwards like this and on number one cylinder and that's how you set the timing. You just set the bottom crank to TDC. So once you've got your engine all apart the only tool you'll need to fix bent valves is this. You don't need a valve removal tool or anything else. Just leave it all in place. You may just need something to pry on your valve. Sometimes I just put a big socket on the head of the vehicle and sometimes I just put a big like spark plug socket or something on the valve spring and push that down and that will open and close the valve so I can look at it to see if it's moving sideways or not. Very simple but very effective, trust me.